Hello friends, how are you doing? I hope good. In some of our previous videos, we learned how to add and subtract whole numbers, which basically were a positive integers. Now we are going to learn how to add and subtract signed numbers. That means we will be dealing with both positive and negative numbers. So let's start adding numbers with same sign. Let's say uh, we want to add 2 plus 5 plus 1. In this case, we are adding three positive numbers. They are all positive. 2 is positive, 5 is positive, 1 is positive. So what we do is start adding from left to right. We will have 2 plus 5, which is 7. No, plus 1, 7 plus 1, which is 8. All right? We can verify this using our number line. We have 0, 1, 2, our first 2. To this one, we add 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is this number right here? After 2, I have 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 7. And we add another 1. 1. After 7, we have 8. So our result is 8, which is this 8. So when they are multi digits, we line them up vertically so that the ones place the right most are directly on top of each other and we arrange the other digits similarly. So let's say we are adding 17 plus 12. These are two positive numbers. We can just rewrite it as 17 plus 12. So we line them up as 17, 12, and we perform the operation from right to left. 7 plus 2, that's 9. 1 plus 1, that's 2. So my final answer is 29. In the same idea of adding numbers with the same sign, let's add these numbers. Negative 4 plus negative 2 plus negative 3. All right? All of them are negative numbers and we are adding them. So we can use our number line to see what we get. So we have negative 4, what is our negative 4 is somewhere here, here to here, 0 to negative 4. And to negative 4, we are adding negative 2, so we count 1, 2, so that's negative 2. And we add another negative 3, 1, 2, 3, so from here to here, negative 3. So we end up having what? Negative 9. So our result is, if I do this, I have negative 6 plus negative 3 equal to negative 9. Let me explain this to you. We have parenthesis negative 4 plus parenthesis negative 2 plus parenthesis negative 3. We can write all this without parentheses, and uh, this one will give us negative 4. And we see this plus and minus will give me just minus negative 2. Plus and minus will give me minus negative 3. So whenever you are performing your addition, if you find this plus a parenthesis opening and right away a negative, 
you can change this whole setup into a minus without any parentheses. All right. So now let's move to multi-digit addition with uh, negative numbers. So let's add negative 13 plus negative 25. We line them up like we did previously for our addition with positive numbers. We will have negative 13 plus negative 25. We start from right to left. 3 plus 5, that's 8, right? 1 plus 2, that's 3. And minus plus minus is minus. So we have negative 38. So let's remark this. Based on what we did so far, when adding numbers with the same sign, we just add them and we apply to the result the sign of these numbers. So I'm going to repeat it again. When added numbers with the same sign, it can be numbers with plus sign or numbers with negative sign. First, what you have to do is add the actual numbers. You add them and to your result, you apply the sign of the numbers. So if I have like 17 plus 12 I add them I have 29 the sign of these two number is plus so my result is plus I can put plus or I can just leave it like that if I have negative 13 plus negative 25 I just add these two numbers right without the sign and the result is 38 now I have to apply the sign of these two numbers and the sign are negative negative so I'll put my negative sign here let's move on with adding uh, or subtracting uh, numbers with different sign but before we do some example let's keep in mind that when adding two numbers with different sign we always take their difference first right i mean uh, the largest number minus the smallest number and uh, to the result that we will find we apply the sign of the largest of both numbers let's say i have a number eight and i'm adding it to the number three so here I'm adding two numbers with different sign. The eight is positive, the three, the negative three is negative. So what I do first is subtract three from eight. So I'll do eight minus three. My result is five. So I'll come here, I'll write five. Now I'll go back and see eight and three. Which one is the largest? The largest is 8. What is the sign of 8? The sign of 8 is positive. Two. So my result here should be positive. So I can put a plus sign or I can just leave it as 5 without any sign. So this one is your final. Let's do another example. Let's add uh, negative 8 plus 3. What is our result? So as we said before, we are here adding two numbers with different sign. The first number is negative 8, which is a negative number. And the second number is 3, which is a positive number. So what we do first is do our 8 minus 3, right? We always subtract them first. We have 5. And we put our 5 as a result. And to this result, we will apply the sign of the largest number from our original two numbers. So I have 8 and I have 3. Which one is the largest? The largest is 8. What is the sign of the largest? Minus sign. So my result here will be negative sign 2. Let me rewrite it here. 
I have negative 8 plus 3. I do 8 minus 3, that's 5. What is the sign of the largest number here? The largest number is 8. The sign is negative, so I'll put my negative here and that will be my final answer. When adding more than two numbers with a different sign, like uh, what we have here, what we do first is we add numbers with the uh, same sign in order to end up getting two numbers with different sign before performing our last operation. So what I mean is first you add numbers that have same sign. In this case, I have negative 3, I have negative 2, have negative 1. They have same signs. I will add them. What is negative 3 and negative 2? That will give me negative 5. So negative 5 plus negative 1 should give me negative 6. Okay. I'll come here and write my negative 6. That's one step. So what is the second step? I still have two numbers here which are positive and they are 3 and 3. So I'll add them. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So plus 6. Now I end up having two numbers with different signs. Now we subtract them and we see which one is the largest and we apply the sign of the largest to the result. So 6 minus 6 is 0 and uh, we don't have any largest. They are same numbers and the result is 0. We don't need to put minus or plus here. So we leave it like that. So our result is 0. Now, what about subtracting numbers with different sign? Let's uh, write, uh, write these formulas. If I have number B minus number A, this is the same as writing the number B plus minus the number A. And this is the same thing as writing the number B minus so these three notations are same so if you see plus open parenthesis minus or minus open parenthesis plus you can just rewrite these two expression as single minus without any parenthesis so if i have two plus minus three i can just rewrite this as two minus three without parenthesis if i have four minus one this is a plus right there that i don't see so i just rewrite this one as 4 minus 1 and uh, that's it before I continue performing my operation this will give me negative 1 this will give me 3 so let's do one more example I say we are doing 5 minus 3 right this is the same as writing 5 plus negative 3 and as we can see, it becomes like uh, adding numbers with different sign. And uh, the rule is to do the subtraction first, and the result will have the sign of the greatest of the two numbers. So subtracting 3 from 5 will give us 2. And the sign of the greatest is 5, and the sign is plus, so our result is plus we leave it like that let's 
remark something very important very very important a minus minus b is the same thing as a plus b here my a is positive and i'm, I'm subtracting minus b from a so whenever you have minus open parenthesis minus you can just replace it as a positive without parenthesis for example if i say minus negative eight as a number minus minus two i can just rewrite this expression as negative eight plus two and from there i'll do 8 minus 2 equal to 6 and to what sign should i apply the sign of 8 because 8 is the largest number and the sign of 8 is negative so negative 6 okay one more example if i have 7 minus minus 3 that should give me 7 this part will give me a plus and 3 so 7 plus 3 is 10 okay so let's stop here for now and uh, we will continue next time but uh, before you go like the video subscribe to the channel share uh, comment all the good things and i see you soon